But hello again, everybody. Once again, well, you know where I'm at. Today, I'm going to get on some of this uh, this DC power stuff. I'm going to show you how I got some of that run. Now, of course, you've already seen my charge controller and fuse panel, which is if I yeah, which is right up there. Now, that fuse panel has, uh, of course, power going to it from the battery, which is down in here. Um, the fuse panel has power going to it, coming uh, out of it, going across. See some of the wires up here, the red and black wires. That's the DC wires. And they are running. These are running down into here. Now I have already just pretty much matched up colors on the line side of this to run to this right here. This is of course my lighter plug or uh, 12 volt outlet. Alright in here so you have all of your blacks that are all ran into here and back out. There's only two that actually are two or three. No, two. Okay. <laughs> there are only two that are actually running in here and then straight back out to something else and that only goes to right here. The other part is going across. Let's see. There's one right there. Comes across here and it comes out right there you can see it just hanging there and same thing over here you can see a wire that comes across there and it's just hanging out there the red and black it's not you can see it's not connected to anything it's just kind of hanging there then outside you have got you can see it inside of the there's my outside light. Inside of there, you can see the little wire running out here. Now what those wires are, are these. All the negatives are tied together. You can see all the black wires, those are negative. They are all tied together. The hots for the switches, which we call switch legs, which I always mark my switch legs, AC or DC, the one by a little twist. So I can tell that these are switch legs. And these two are just hot. These are constant hot. This is, I can tell because it's different types of wire. Uh, they're both red, but they're different like, kinds of wire. Um, this one goes down to lighter plug and this one is the positive from the fuse box so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up my switches I have three of them here little rocker switches they have the LEDs I don't know if I'm going to use the LEDs or not I might use them but uh, if I do I'll show you how to hook those up but uh, these will just go in right up here now I need a blank cover instead of a cover with a hole for a switch in it or a hole for a plug in it I need a cover I got paint on that one uh, I need a cover that is just blank which they do have them and I, the right thing to do is to go to the store and pick one up so what we're going to do is, is we're going to cut it out of this and uh, we're going to mount our switches in there. Just three of them. One, two, three. I'm not going to switch this. But we'll mount our three switches in here. And we'll put that right up there like that. Now at some point I probably will go out and get an actual cover. But uh, right now, you know, I want to get some of this done. And right now you can see... There is a lot of snow out there, and the thing that gets you is the ice. Now, it is really not very good weather for driving, 
In fact, some of the stores are even closed because I know there's not much snow, but there, the ice is what's kind of restricting the travel right now. But I want to get this done. I want to get it to where I can uh, have my DC circuits hooked up so I can use my DC lights and I can use these plugs and also I can show y'all how I'm going to hook these up. So, anyway, let's uh, make us a cover out of this. Move in there so it kind of sticks out just a little bit, the point of it does. The same on both parts. I'm just going to... Like that. Now... So now you can see I've got all my connectors on. These are on the switch legs, the uh, negative, and the positive. So now all we need to do is hook them up to switches. So what I'm going to do is the black wires are going to go on the brass connections. This one's a different color. doesn't matter. Uh, I just uh, kind of messed this one up. And I had a red one left, so I just used it. It doesn't matter. It's, it's the same thing. But if you're wondering if there was some reason why I had a different color one, there is no, no reason. It's just there. And I'm going to do the same. I'm just going to choose to use the middle one for the uh, line side and the other one for the load side. I guess I'll turn all those off. Okay, now for our switches themselves, or for our switched things that we have, our lights, these are all lights. That's the only thing that we're switching on this. For all of our lights, all we need to do is hook up. There's only one more terminal left on each of these switches. We just need to hook it in to each one of those. And the thing is, if you put them on here and then you get to playing around with your fit, your light fixtures and you figure out, well, I didn't want that switch there. All you got to do is switch the switch legs from one switch to the other. It's not going to really make that much difference. But this has all of them hooked up. It looks complicated, but it's really only three wires for each switch. You know, that, that looks kind of complicated. A bunch of wires coming in, you know, and all that. But really, it's only, it's the three wires for each switch. You have your negative on the brass, your line on either one of these. I just used the middle. Uh, and the load on the other one. So, then all you've got to do is put it into the box. Each switch, as you turn it on, it lights up a light. Now that one's blue. Well, I put it on top. It doesn't really matter, but the fact that that is blue, that will differentiate one of them. I will probably put that uh, for the outside light. I don't know which one it's on right now, but we'll put that for the outside light. And then the two red lights will be these in here. And if you didn't want these to light up when you switch them, all you would have to do is just leave that, that negative wire off and the switches will work just fine and the LED won't come on. So if you don't want them to light up like that, which I could understand that, I'm kind of questioning it like... I think it will be fine, but I'm kind of thinking I wonder if I should. But one thing I do like about these lighting up is um, if I've got the outside light on and it's running on battery power and we've had several days of not having very much sun, um, this little light right here would be a good reminder that it's not just on on this switch, it's on 
on this one too. All right, so now it is time for us to hook up our LED lights. And there are several different types of LED lights that you can get. Um, there are the ones like I have in Zephyr that have their own little switch. It kind of looks like an RV light. It's actually what it's made for. It just kind of a direct swap out. It has its own little switch on it. They're, pr they're really bright. They're pr pretty nice lights. I've also got the strip lights, which we will be using in here. These are what I'm going to be using in these lights. But these are just little strips of LEDs. I'm sure y'all have seen these before. This is 16 feet of, you can see on here. Okay, right here, you can see each one of these little dots is a separate LED. And every three of them, there is a little line here and these little terminals. Now what you do, if you want to divide this up into separate pieces, because it's 16 feet of light, and we're not going to use all 16 feet on one light fixture. So uh, what you do is to use separate sections of it, you cut on this line right here, and you will have to have a soldering iron, and you will solder a terminal to each one of these. Now you want to clean it off first, because it, it should anyway. I think these do. It should have a, uh, a layer of protective material on it. Uh, so you have to kind of scrape that off to make sure that your solder makes a connection. But what we're going to do is we're going to take these and we're going to put these in our lights. So let me uh, get up here and I'll show you what I want to do these uh, strips of LEDs that's already in here, these run off of your 110 volt AC. Now, in order to make it run off of 12 volts, which is on this wire, got some paper towels now. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I got some paper towels now and some alcohol. And I'm gonna clean, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a strip on both sides here too. One in the middle and one on both sides. See how this all works out. I think it'll be okay. All right, so that has our solar powered, uh, well, that has our solar power light working. <laughs> so now the kitchen is illuminated by the sun. Even though the uh, sun is not out a whole lot today, still got condensation on these windows, but you can see, you can see it was Zephyr out there. You can see the snow i did i did clean the snow off the solar panels out back um and we do have well uh, 13 volts at 13.1 uh there's not a whole lot of sun but we are using the light too so and you can see we've got three strip well you can't see it with it on let me turn this off okay so you can probably see that there are three strips of LEDs that have been added to that, plus the other LEDs that were already there. So yeah, there is plenty of light to come off of that, as you can see. That will do a fine job, I think, of lighting the kitchen. Now, like I said, the living room is going to be different. Because I, this uh, this light is not going to be permanent in here. Uh, this light is for 
when I'm working in here and stuff. So this just, I just threw that up there. Now this one that's in the kitchen, that is going to be the permanent one. I did cause a problem with it though. You may notice some wires are hanging out over here. Uh, yeah. Uh, keep forgetting I got the light on. You can't see it. Okay. See some wire nuts and stuff hanging out there. I kind of, uh, well, it's been around a little while and the plastic has gotten kind of brittle. So you're supposed to be able to pop this cover off. It popped off all right. It popped off in about six or seven pieces. So I'm going to have to do something about that. Um, just make me some kind of little cover or something. It's no big deal. It's just a piece of plastic. I can, I can pretty easily bend that, bend a piece of plastic to fit. But at least now I've got to start on my solar. Let me show you what else I've got here. Okay, so right down here we have our power inverter right here. And that's a good power inverter. Um, it works pretty well. I've had that for a while. I also have some of these kind of lights. Now these, yeah, they're dirty, but they will clean up. And uh, a couple of them have these little switches on them. A couple of them don't. But the ones that have the little switches, these are going to be my reading lights. They are 110 volt, but they won't be for long. These are going to be LED. I'm not going to have any 110 volt reading lights. They are going to be just 12 volts. Um, but these are going to go upstairs and they're going to be retrofitted with probably some of that type stuff. Um, I think that's what I'm going to use anyway. So y'all can look out for that in the next video probably. So yeah, we're kind of starting on some of the, what I think of is the more fun stuff. Um, working on the solar power stuff. I don't know. I like fooling with, uh, I guess, alternative energy and uh, stuff like that. And I like fooling with inverters, LEDs, <laughs> DC powered uh, stuff. You know, I'm going to have all these. Uh, I can't see it. I'm going to have all these outlets that are marked solar. They're all going to be actually putting out. So if I want to plug something in, I can. And yeah, still haven't got the uh, two gang cover. That's okay. It'll come. Anyway, I believe that's going to about do it for today. If you're not subscribed, subscribe underneath there and a uh, little bell. If you ring that bell, anytime I put up a video, you'll be notified. So You'll know anytime I put up a video if you click that little bell. Anyway, I guess that's going to be about it for this video. I appreciate everybody watching, and I'll see y'all on the next one.